Welcome back to the channel, guys. There's your recap of parts one, two, three, and four. It doesn't look like much when it's only one second or two seconds of a clip. Right away, we replaced the scratched axle and nut in the rear. I'm sure I could have went with this one, but it is courteous to the next owner. Now, enough waiting. Man, I'm excited to show you guys the fairings we went with. Let's crack them open, show you guys what we're rocking. Wow, everything is fitting actually pretty decent. It is lining up perfectly with the taillights and the aftermarket tail tidy. Had to do just a tiny bit of trimming on one of the brackets, but boy, that is flush. And before we move on to more fairings, we're gonna replace this bolt on the right side. In place of this bolt that got shaved down a bunch and I just spray painted black for the time being. Let's slap this new bolt in there. And then we got more fairings to open up. Let's get to it.
that front mud guard is tightened down along with the brake lines connected to the rear of that fender. Now it's time to continue with the color scheme on the front. combo the extravagant metallics in that gold paint along with the red and white and the designs with the front end just looks so good minus that windscreen and another small detail is the matte black on the oem plastic does match this fender which is perfect helps out my ocd that rear looks killer as well man i'm excited to see this whole bike take shape now i was going to use this black windscreen but it is just so dark and i prefer white honestly with this white gold and red we do have more fairings in the bottom of this box but i am waiting on a few key components before I can install them on the bike. But for now, let's try to attempt that dent repair on the gas tank right over there. Gonna try to do some PDR. Let's see how it goes.
Wow, this PDR stuff is amazing. Now I've never dabbled in PDR before and little backstory, I tried getting a shop to do some PDR on this tank, but they said, number one, the dent was too deep, which I don't think it was too deep. And number two, I got a quote for someone to come out here to the garage and do the PDR themselves and it was way too expensive. So 50 bucks worth of tools and some really nice adhesive PDR glue. We just about have that dent out. As you can see, there are two little small holes that we still have to pull out. But this is the good side and man, they almost look identical. I didn't think it was gonna go this well, but hey, if you wanna try this, get the tools, try it yourself, you'll be amazed. So we still have two little dingers to remove. Let's knock them out. Man, that PDR went well. And we cleaned up the tank, made it look nice for ready for that color change. I am probably gonna do the PDR one more time though because right on the edge here, I can still feel a few bumps. But man, that is quite the difference from before. I don't know if you can see those bumps still, but they're right on the edge right over here. And this is the good side, how it's supposed to look. I am still waiting on a few parts from Genuine Honda to put together the rest of the fairings. Man, it's gonna look so sick. This gold and white and red is really growing on me and I love how the forks match the gold color. Can't wait to see a gold side fully put together on this fire blade. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Now it's giveaway time for you guys. Now in the last video, I didn't post the giveaway portion at the end of the video, but I did message one of you guys in the chat. So check your comments. One of you guys want a keychain from me. I just didn't film it. But in this part, we're gonna scroll through the comments and boom, Keon. You want a keychain? DM me on Instagram. We'll have Moto Loot ship you out. Whatever one you want from these options right here. Cheers, guys.